What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Barmine Tech, and today we're going to be talking about how to update your LXC containers through Proxmox. So this was something that somebody commented on a video a few weeks ago, and this is because we use a lot of LXC containers now. Since I've moved off of Docker and the community helper scripts have grown so massively to have so many different projects, the majority of my home lab is LXC containers, especially from the community helper scripts. So they do need to be updated and it does happen over time to keep everything running properly and up to date security wise, you know, updates have to be done. So if somebody was wondering how I keep all my containers up to date. Now there isn't a direct method of like, Hey, just to set it and forget it. And it's going to manually update everything all the time, but there kind of is. And we're going to talk about that in this video. So let's get right into it. So I have about 10 LXC containers that I'm running since I moved off of Docker and there probably could be more, but I haven't really finished setting everything up yet on the mini lab server versus what I used to run in my Docker environment. So it's still going to grow and it does need management like it used to have in Docker. So in Docker, I used to have a tool called watchtower which would help me automate the process. I would still have to set it to run because I didn't want it to just run on its own and needed some config in the background. But unfortunately, I don't know of a container in Proxmox yet for the LXC containers that could do that as well. So typically the process that I have for updating a container would be, let's say I come over to Vault Warden. Now I know that this container has a update feature. So if I come over here and I type update, it's going to start pulling the update from the community helper scripts and it's going to update it out. So I'm just going to cancel that really quick and close this back out. So now, yes, this is going to be focused heavily because a lot of my containers are from the community helper scripts, but I feel like a lot of people's containers they're using in Proxmox are as well. And if they're not, they're just base Linux flavors and whatever like that. So again, if I need to update the OS, I could just come over here and do a sudo apt update tech y. And it will go through the process and I can do a sudo apt upgrade tack Y as well. Now this is going to be updating the OS on the container. So like Ubuntu, Debian, whatever OS you're running as the base of it. Now, when I run the update command, like I did previously, that's updating the repos and the actual tool running on that OS. So it's not doing both at the same time. So I just want to cancel that again. So now if we come over to the community helper scripts under Proxmox and virtualization, they have a ton of Proxmox tools that are based out of these scripts that you could run to do different functions. So they have one for like container deletion. They have to clean up some drive space. They have one to update the repositories for CPU scaling. But one that we're gonna talk about to start is gonna be this Proxmox VE cron LXC updater. So what this does is it pretty much just writes into the cron tab file a command that every week it's going to go through and it's going to schedule the update all the LXCs every Sunday. Now, from my understanding, there might be a way to tag it so it excludes certain containers running. So if we look at the breakdown of the script, it's pretty much adding in the, these lines to pull this command off of the GitHub, which when we come over here is the script to run the update. So pretty much it's just going through and it's seeing, you know, which OS is you're running it's going to run the commands to update them. So for what I'm seeing, it's not going to still update like the software, like Vault Warden or Uptime Kuma, stuff like that. It's updating the base OS, which is, which is fine. It's going to work just fine for us. So what I'm going to show you is we can copy this. I have my shell open over here and I can paste this in. I'm just going to click enter. And now I can say if I want to add or remove it. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to click yes. And now what this is going to do is it's going to right into the cron tab. So every Sunday night, it's going to pull through and update all the distros on my LXC containers. So it, it's a little confusing of where the cron tabs actually live because there's some different spots that they can be, but this one's going to write to var spool cron cron tabs. And in here there's a file called root. So if I just cat root really quick, you can see that it's a little cut off because of my sizing. But over here is the cron job running. So I actually have it twice because of how I set it up. So I'm going to remove one of them because yeah, I just removed both of them actually because of how it works. But that would be where the script for the cron job actually lives. So I'll just, I'll just add it back one more time. I'm just going to say yes. And now if I cat it again, you can see that I have the cron job in here. That's going to every Sunday night go through and update the base OSs. 
Now, maybe you're somebody who doesn't want to do them automatically because you're, you know, maybe worried that something might break, which is totally fine. And that's why there's another script over here that you could do it manually and it'll just go through and update them itself. So you could copy this one, you could paste it in. So if I just grab it really quick, it's going to pop up. It's going to ask us, you know, do you want to update all the LXC containers? I'm going to say no right now because I just don't want to. I'll do this at another time. But if you did, it can go through and it'll update all your LXC containers for you at one point. Now, again, this is just doing the base OS. So like the Linux distribution running on that LXC container, it's not going to update all the services running. Unfortunately, I don't see a way just yet that you could automate the process. You could probably write some sort of bash script, which I haven't done just yet. I might see maybe leverage some chat GBT assistance on that and work on a bash script or a cron job that will go every Sunday and update the containers that do respond to the update command. Now there's not an update command for every container to my knowledge, but I do know that the majority of them on the Proxmox helper scripts or the, or the community helper scripts do use an update command to go through and update the services running. So I'll show you that really quickly as well. So some containers are a little different and some of them are going to respond to, you know, like their native command. So for pihole, the native update command would be pihole dash up. And this is how you would see it in like the pihole web GUI. So you can see I can run it that way, but I could also do update in pihole and I could tell I want a silent mode or a verbose. It's going to run the update as well. So it's just another option of doing it that way. Something like my speed, it doesn't have like a special command through the GUI to run through, right? So I just run update through here and over here I would have to, you know, select to run the update. You know, there's no update, so I, I'm good over here. Unfortunately, there's not an update command for every container just yet to my knowledge. I know the majority of them do because that's how they've been writing the community scripts. Trying to figure out how to get everything updated could really be a hassle at some points. So having that update command is really helpful. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't know of a way to automate the process yet. There definitely is a script you can run. I, I just don't have one yet. So this is what I do to update my LXCs and make sure everything up, stays up to date. The big ones that I really focus on are like Vault Warden. And typically I end up getting a Reddit notification from self-hosted or whatever it might be because a new security vuln is found in Vault Warden and everybody says, hey, make sure you update your Vault Warden. So that's typically how I go through and I say, time to go update Vault Warden and make sure it's nice and secure even though it's not public facing anymore. So I, I still like to keep it all up to date, make sure it's working properly. Other than that, for the majority of my updates, even outside of my LXC containers, they get done when I'm ready to do it pretty much on a monthly basis or so. I'll sit down and finally go, okay, it's time to update everything. I'll update my NASs, I'll update my server, I'll update my VMs, stuff like that. It's usually a process and I go through and I update everything at one shot. I try to do it monthly, but sometimes I do fall behind and it might be a month and a half or two months. Um, it is a time consuming process, especially when they're running services that I like to keep up. So like if I reboot a NAS, my Plex server goes down and somebody might be watching Plex. So it's usually like a middle of the night thing or an early morning thing, stuff like that. Similar with my LXC containers, I don't want to stop their operation in the middle of the day when I need it. So like if I run the VPN out of my LXC container, then I lose my VPN and I lose my connection back. So it's just, you know, stuff like that, that I keep in mind. So like I said, usually I do the software. Like the services running on them, I do those manually at night or, you know, when I'm around. Everything else can be automated, like updating the OS and stuff like that. It's cool running the cron job or if you want to use the updater command to do them all at once. I don't want to keep rambling about updates. You know, it's just something that everybody seems to forget about, but they do need to be done to make sure that everything's running up to date. Like I forgot to update my router for a year and a half and uh, I kept saying, I got to do it, I got to do it and I didn't. And then, you know, I fell behind for a bunch of different versions of the OS. So updates are important. And you know, make sure you get them done, whether you want to automate them or not. Just keep in the back of your mind, maybe schedule a task on your phone to remind you, you know, every month, hey, update all your LXE containers. It doesn't hurt to have. I want to thank you all for watching. I've always, I'll have all the links to all the gear in my home lab down below if you ever want to check out any of it out and get it for yourself. I will have a link to the Discord server if you're interested in joining up in there and chatting. Other than that, I want to thank you all for watching. And as my buddy Don would say, hack till it hurts.